My name is Rad Mazon. I am a job readiness instructor with Vision Services for the Blind and Visually Impaired. My job focuses mostly on training. Our agency provides training opportunities for people who may be lost sight at some point in their lives or have been blind their entire lives who are seeking employment. I have enough detailed vision to be able to avoid most larger obstacles like cars. Generally, larger objects appear in vague detail. For example, right now I'm perceiving you as a outlined shape. So finer details like colors, patterns on your shirt, anything you might be holding, uh, if you happen to be flipping me off right now, no clue. I primarily use uh, my cane, which is a tool that allows me to detect uh, the ground and various obstacles ahead of me. Uh, rolling tip, which I use to scan the ground in front of me, basically, by either rolling it side to side or tapping it at about shoulder distance. Helps me detect uh, obstacles, anything from people to trees to cracks in the sidewalk to various other things. Hearing plays largely into navigating around, uh, especially with the cane. Once the cane is uh, in use, especially if you're rolling it, you're getting a lot of auditory feedback from various things around you as you pass them. Mostly things that reflect sound, hard surfaces like buildings and such. You're able to kind of get a sense how far away you are from an object based on the auditory feedback that you're getting from your cane. As I roll, as I tap, right? Since this building is over here and since this bus station is over here, you get more echo so you know that there are things in your in your path. The majority of folks have some usable vision. Some people's vision is uh, conditional, meaning that uh, it'll work fine during the day but maybe give folks trouble at night. The condition I have is degenerative, so the large possibility exists that at some point I may lose the remainder of my vision. And in fact, I've lost some of my usable vision in the past five years or so. That's why it's important to stay up on technologies, various tools available to be able to stay ahead of the curve, as it were.